Welcome again, and in this video is basically going to be part five on how to build a website. And in this section, we're going to discuss um, now actually building the website. We've got uh, some other critical steps out of the way. We've got a business plan. We've got a domain name. We've found a good hosting company. We've pointed our domain name. Now it's time to get a website, right? Um, again, this is synonymous to building a house. You know, now we've got the blueprint established and we've got all the materials that we need sitting on the sidelines. Now it's time to actually construct the website. Um, constructing a website can be ver a very daunting challenge to say the least. So first, if you have uh, any questions or even need to use my services, building websites is what I do. And um, I'm pretty good at it and can do corporate branding, web design, SEO, monetization, uh, consultation, maintenance services, banner and image creation, and of course I can, I can host your account as well. Um, but basically, you need to find some channel, some system, some avenue of how to create and build your website. Um, obviously, we're going to assume in this video that going out and buying a giant book about programming at Barnes and Nobles or some bookstore is not a realistic option or solution. And to be quite honest with you, it's not. Um, and again, unless you want to go to school and basically get a whole new degree in programming, um, you know, it's really not going to be a, a realistic way to get online and, and continue. There are other avenues, however, that are very popular, very, very effective, and very efficient on how to create and construct a website. On this page is kind of a small list of a few of what I consider to be kind of my favorite and probably most popular um, site building sites or sites that offer tools to build sites. And you can look in the information box in the upper right and there will be links for each one that you can click and get more information about each tool. Um, but basically there's Homestead, Site Build It, Build a Niche, Simple Web, and my personal site that I own and operate, Quick Site. Um, but those, those five right there are a really, really good starting place to go and explore and take a look at how things For example, here's my site, QuickSite.com and uh, it's got a large knowledge base and a lot of information and it's basically uh, giving you information on how to build a website and so you know what are some of the tools to do that well let's go over that first of all basically regardless of whether you use an open source system which can be found through Fantastico which is an auto installer tool um, with your hosting company um, there is about over 50 plus scripts that can help you instantly create a website, whether it's a blog, a content management system, a forum, a shopping cart. You don't have to go out there and pay monthly for these services. You don't have to go out there and, and pay for a shopping cart service. I, I find a lot of new webmasters falling into this trap. They wonder, oh, you know, how am I going to ha have e-commerce now? I have to go and pay for those services because I have no idea how to operate a shopping cart. Well, if you will have the willingness to take a little time to learn the learning curve of a piece of software. Um, there are shopping, shopping carts, for example, OS Commerce is a very popular open source shopping cart system that can integrate with PayPal and other popular payment systems. And all you have to do is it's form based. It's a form based administration area, meaning you type in a username and password to access what they call the back end and it allows you to fill out forms. And namely in this example with the shopping cart, um, you know, what is the name of the item, how much do you want for it, what's the description about it, and it gives you options on uploading pictures for it. Um, again, you don't need to know the coding that goes on behind having a shopping cart system, how it talks and integrates with PayPal. All you have to learn with these systems is how to use it, exactly like email. Whenever you send an email, you don't know all the code that goes on behind how the email is sent, received, rejected, what goes into what folder. All you know how to do is to fill out the forms, the subject, the you know who it's to, the body, you know how to fill out the forms and click the buttons in your email to make it do what you want. Exact same things with these open source systems like uh, like OS Commerce. One that I'm a big fan of is called Joomla 1.5. Um, there's other versions of Joomla and it's kind of a cousin of Mambo or an, a, a later version of Mambo. And uh, But all these are names of what they call content management systems, which again are form-based administration systems that you can use, log into, and change the content of your site. Um, if you go with other services like Homestead, Site Build It, Build a Niche, or Simple Web, 
well namely the top three simple web's a little different um, but homestead build a niche and site build it um, basically are going to do the same thing it's a little bit more proprietary and on their end but they provide you an administration area just like with email um, that has forms in it that you fill out and you basically in some cases it's as simple as hitting save or a publish button and then that content or whatever page you created now shows up on the web and again it really doesn't matter whether you use their system or an open source system which is actually my preference but um, you know make your own choice do what's best for you um, basically any tool and web builder tool that you use is going to have those things in common it's going to have what they call a back end an area where you log in with a username and password that you want to keep protected and that's going to produce um, links that produce forms that you fill out just like email and when you click send an email it sends the email in these examples you would click save or publish whatever the case may be and that automatically is going to create that new page on your website and these are really really great tools and ways to get a website up again whether it's for a large corporation or even a small individual site um, all of these have the tools that you need to make as big a site and almost as complex a site as you want. Because again, you don't need to know coding, you don't need to go into your hosting account or cPanel or the source files to make your website work. Um, I find a lot of new webmasters that try this route, you know, they get frustrated real easily because they got to understand that if you're going to learn HTML, if you're going to learn PHP, if you're going to learn how to you know, or you're going to learn the tags and HTML code to create a hyperlink. If you're going to learn all those things, um, any site you create isn't going to be very attractive, and you're just going to be finding that it's a constant frustrating road of learning new things. And these tools provide you a very convenient way to get an online presence in a very professional manner, and that will give you time with the working website to then go learn those details. Because, I mean, let's be honest, anything you do know about coding or HTML or any programming language will only be a benefit to you, but it is not necessary to get online. Now, I know a lot of systems and, um, you know, hype marketing things say, you know, you don't have to have any coding or website knowledge, and this is true. Um, you don't. They're the, those tools that I mentioned earlier and that are also in the information box in the upper right. These all, I mean, that's what they're there for, is to provide you an avenue and another way to produce a very complicated site and a very uncomplicated process. So again, if you want to check these places out, just um, use the links in the upper right information box. Um, I'm kind of a fan of all these. I've run across a lot of customers who have them, and uh, they can make some pretty decent sites. So, um, But again, it's important that you shop and that you go through each one to figure out what's going to be the best one for you, depending on uh, mainly what you want to do and, more importantly, how you want to do it. Um, if you're wanting to do blogs and forums and have total control over what you do, um, and especially if you want a platform that can evolve as you learn more about programming and PHP and HTML, um, probably Simple Web and QuickSight are going to be uh, better options for you. Otherwise, Homestead, Site Build It, and Build a Niche are going to be um, some really good turnkey type systems that help uh, help you get set up. But on the uh, 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 the negative side of that is they don't have uh, as many long-term options that you would find with Simple Web or QuickSight, especially if you wanted to go into the source code and start uh, getting creative and kind of adding your own programming. Um, you'll want the bottom two. The top three really don't facilitate that too well, but they do offer some fantastic turnkey solutions to get you online and get your product, your information, or your message, or whatever you're doing out there um, in no time. So, um, again, that is going to be a very, very important step, is to figure out which tool you're going to use to build your website with. And I would recommend you start your, uh, your search with these, with these here. And I'll, uh, that concludes this video, and I'll see you on the next part.